Welcome to the Central Florida Gardening Show. Hi, I'm on Central Florida Gardening Show. I've been picking this Thai Roselle. It's a type of hibiscus. It's a type of fruit that we're going to eat. These are flowers. Okay, we're going to make um, red zingo tea and jam. So yeah, I've just been picking these and picking these. And you see, see, there's still more left, and I've already pulled this whole basket. Um, you have to get good scissors to pick these. These big ones are like clinged on. Like, uh, I usually can just push them off. There we go. Tiva, I think we should have started picking these last week, huh? Yeah. And now all these things, and all these flowers will bend them down. They're really heavy, and this plant is falling over. So that's why we're picking them to make stuff. We can make stuff, plus it will help the plant to not fall. Yeah, we planted this Thai Roselle in uh, March of this year, and it got to be about seven feet tall and seven feet wide. It's just out of control. So we're gonna have to pick the we're gonna pick the flower pods from it. We can make some red zinger tea, like Tiva said. Maybe make some hibiscus jam. This is a type of hibiscus. And it grows really great in zone 9, which is here tropical. Uh, I've, I haven't seen anything attack this plant as far as insects. And it's just a, a wonderful tropical type of hibiscus that makes these awesome red pods, flower pods that you can make jams and red zinger tea and all kinds of foods with it and this plant has also been shown through scientific peer-reviewed research to actually lower LDL cholesterol in the body and I have a problem with LDL cholesterol and triglycerides so I've been eating the leaves the leaves are edible on this plant these flower pods are completely edible and it's just a great thing to grow here in Central Florida. We really had to cut this Thai Roselle back today. This is a, a Thai Roselle is a kind of hibiscus. And this one had just gotten so out of control. I should have pruned it a lot earlier. You can see how we've cut this back uh, today. We cut it back really hard. And um, these Thai Roselles make these beautiful red flower pods and this is the pods used to make red zinger tea uh, you can also make jams and jellies with it uh, really all kinds of food and this plant in general is just a really uh, neat plant it's used a lot in the tropics to make uh, again tropical drinks particularly in places like Jamaica and some of the islands this plant goes great here in zone 9 here in central Florida so Tiva, Julia Tell us what y'all are doing. We're real picking these. What are those? Let's see. Let me see. What are these? What is that? I don't know. It's jelly. Jelly? You mean flower pods? Flower pods. Yeah, flower pods. Here, tell us what's going on, Tiva. For red zinger tea or red zinger jam, um, you can make hibiscus tea, um, lots of things out of these. And we're gonna make jelly out of them. Um, you can eat the leaves, they're really good. They're um, kind of sour. Um, and um, the, the thing we need is we take these out, the flowers out. And here's all we need. All we need is this. And yeah, well, that's pretty much what we're doing. We have to make all these. Okay, they only come once a year. And they're edible. Well, right now I'm making some Roselle tea. Hibiscus tea from the Thai Roselle. See, I've torn the calyxes off and have them in the pot. These are the flower pods. You just tear the red calyxes off the flower pods and inside you inside their seeds which you can actually replant with. They're inside of the flower bud. 
but um, this makes some really good nutritious tea and I usually sweeten it with um, um, sugar or honey you can use anything you want really alright the Thai Roselle calyxes are coming to a boil what I usually do is boil this for about maybe two or three minutes and then just remove them from the heat I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then just let it steep <clears throat> let it steep and I would let um, I would let it steep probably for two or three hours and sometimes I'll just let it cool come cool overnight then the next morning you can you can um, put this through a strainer and just get your get your Roselle tea recommending doing a uh... A search on your preferred web browser for the Thai Red Roselle or the Roselle plant. You can find out more information. The Wikipedia article is um, uh, pretty informative. gives you a lot of links to um, its different names and uses. Um, it's used, of course, uh, its most popular use is, a, is the Roselle drink. And uh, you probably, maybe you've seen it labeled uh, Red Zinger. Um, but it's a popular drink uh, in Africa um, as well as the Caribbean. Uh, really nice, beautiful red hibiscus drink. It's also used with jams and preserves, and it has some medicinal uses, which I think are quite compelling. Uh, blood, blood pressure, hypertension, urinary tract infections, and also the lowering of lipid profiles, particularly the LDL type, or what they call bad cholesterol you know um, so something to take a look at it's harvested in China and Thailand as a major food crop as well as in India there's uh, some various places you can find seeds like at Baker Creek heirloom seeds you can get 15 seeds for um, three bucks uh, I obtained um, my little seedlings from Crispy Farms here in um, here in Orlando and Crispy Farms is dedicated to uh, their farm to cows and chickens and ducks and they also sell non-GMO vegetable plants herbs soup and all kinds of produce and um, other things so check out Crispy Farms uh, you'll find them every Monday evening at the Autobahn market at Stardust Video here in Orlando so thanks for tuning in